Hey guys, welcome to part three of this crazy 1990 Miata with the crazy idle up and down and the high revving constantly back and forth. Um, so far, we have swapped in a throttle position sensor, which is sometimes the cause of that. That made no difference. We unplugged the idle air control valve and, uh, and then we figured out that maybe that was where the problem was because things went relatively normal after we unplugged it. Um, so after that, we swapped in a different used uh, throttle body with a different throttle position sensor and idle air control valve and all that stuff and plugged everything back in and the problem is still there. So I'm quite surprised to see that. I was pretty much expecting that the problem would be solved at that point. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to change out the air valve here or the choke control valve. So we're going to change that out and we're going to see if that makes any difference. Okay. So what we're going to need is an eight millimeter wrench like this. This is actually not an eight millimeter. It's a five sixteenth. So if you have a five sixteenth instead of an eight mil, that's okay. It'll work just fine. This is a ratcheting one. So it's going to make my life easier. Now we've got four screws that hold this on now they do have a phillips number two head on them but there's no way you're getting a screwdriver in on the bottom two so that's why we're going to use this okay so just going to make sure we're going the right way okay so these out so they're quite long so you need to uh Actually, you know, before, actually I'll do it after. We're also gonna have to take these two lines off as well. Now th these are coolant lines. Coolant flows through here and back out the other line. So if your car is really hot, you're gonna have hot coolant in there. So let the car cool down first. Now I should be able to get to these guys. Now there's not enough clearance to get that one all the way out because the valve cover's in the way, but don't worry about it because you don't have to get it all the way out. You just have to get it undone. And then with it still sitting in here, there's plenty of room to pick the whole thing up and out after. So just like that. So you see, and then we can pull it out. So that's what we're gonna be changing here. Now, right away, I can tell that this gasket's compromised here. Um, so it's, it may or may not have been getting a proper seal here. Now, that could have been from somebody playing around with it at one of the shops beforehand. But what we're going to do is we're going to swap it out anyway. And we're going to hook up the new one, or the, the new used one, which looks really new, uh, right here. And we're going to put that one on in its place. And then we're going to fire up the car and see if we get any, any different results than we've had so far back these off and again you've got 30 well, these guys are like 32 years old these hoses so be gentle try not to poke them or damage them in any way if you can help it and if you do just uh, you may be able to just cut a little bit off the end and then just reinsert it like I did on the one on the idle air control valve in part two so we want to be careful how we do these yeah, this one's a bit swollen. It doesn't want to come off. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's never been off, you see, in all those years. So I'm just going to wiggle it a bit. Well, patience is key when you're trying to get this stuff apart. So. That's not quite far enough back yet to be able to clear that little nub on there. So we're just going to keep, keep working at it until it finally goes. There we go. All right. That fought us a little bit, but that's okay. Now let's just see that. These are really on there. Mosquito trying to bite me. All right, 
So yeah, these are really stuck on there. And you want to be careful we don't wreck them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to very carefully take my small screwdriver and see if I can break the seal here. Just slide it in and then around. I'm trying to make sure that I don't I keep my blade. Now this is a fairly rounded off one, so it's, it doesn't have pokey sides or anything. So if I can just stretch that a bit, just to break some of that. Yeah, oh, that's gonna be a tough one. It'll come off though. Slow and steady, just nice and easy. Don't, don't rush it. And also be looking for any compromise on the hose when you're doing this as well. So you don't have any leaks later. There we go, now it's turning. So we'll get that one off right away. And again, just wiggle it back and forth, nice and slow until you get it going. Now be prepared for some coolant to come out. There. And try and stand it up if you can. Whoop, there we go. Now we got coolant coming out. So I'm gonna plug my out one with my hand and I'm gonna try and, yeah, it makes it a little easier now to get the second one off because we can grab the whole thing and twist it without having a second line there. There we are. Okay, that's off. Bye bye. Now, now we've got this guy ready. Slide it on. There we are. Okay, one down. And be careful of this rubber gasket that's in the back here. Now this one's nicely seated, and what I've done is I've put some dielectric grease on it just so that it slides nicely and makes a good seal when we put this thing back together. But just be careful of that, rubbing it in the dirt and things like that. There we are. Okay, now before we put this back in place, what we want to do is put the bottom screws in first. Just have them in. That way we can clear the valve cover when we put this thing back down in there. So now we won't have any problems getting those in. And we can spin them up by with our hand here, with our fingers. Get this thing lined up nicely. That way you can feel where they're going. Two more. There we go, now we'll snug them down. Almost there, guys.
and done. Okay, there we are. So we'll remove the tools out of the engine bay. All right, do one last check. Everything looks like it's back together and everything's connected. So we'll fire it up, see what happens. That wasn't it either, guys. I'm gonna shut it down for a sec. All right, guys, stay tuned for part four. <laughs> we'll come up with a solution for this anytime now. Thanks.